Hello and welcome to this video. In this particular video, we are going to talk about how to create a zoomable scatter plot in Tableau. So let's get straight into it. In this video, we will talk about how to use a combination of calculated fields and dashboard actions to zoom in and out the four quadrants of a scatter plot all on a single sheet. So what we are talking about here? Let's see first in Tableau and then we'll implement that from the scratch. So here you can see that we have a scatter plot coming in. And when I click on any of these dots, for example, I'm clicking on here. You can see your entire category gets highlighted here. I press escape. You can see it's going back. So all the oranges, that is category B, it's getting highlighted. Here you can see this. Same way if I click on this, you can see all the subcategories will be highlighted here. That is D. So basically the data is divided into four quadrants. And when I click on any particular dot, it will zoom in that particular quadrant. For example, click here, you can see both the dots coming in. So that is what we have to create. So let's go ahead and create this from the scratch. We are going to use the sample superstore data set for implementing the same. So I'll connect to the data set. That is the sample superstore data set and we'll choose the orders table. The very first thing which I will do is I'll create the scatter plot using profit and the sales. As of now, you can see a single dot because the granularity is the overall granularity. I'll drag the subcategory in the details. So now the data is divided into each subcategory. I'll change this to a circle, the solid circles. And I'll increase the size here. I'll right click on the X axis and generate the add reference line. And I'll choose the average line. And same for this particular Y axis as well and create the average line. Now I want to create a different colors. This particular quadrant should have a different color. This particular quadrant should have a different color and so on. So for that, I have to create one calculated field. Let's give the name as quadrant. And here I'll apply the table calculation. If the sum of sales is more than equal to the window average of sum of sales and sum of profit is less than equal to window average of sum of profit then I will give one category. Same way I will give all the different scenarios. So let me copy this. Else if. Here I just change the sign. Sum of sales. When it is more than equal to average of window average of the sum of sales. And sum of profit is also more than equal to the sum of window average of sum of profit then one category let's copy this the third one and the fourth one and the third one will be when the window average and the sum of sales is less than the window average less than equal to the window average of sum of sales and the sum of profit is more than equal to the window average of sum of profit and lastly we have less than equal to window average of sum of sales and here also less than equal to window average of sum of profit let's try to understand what value should we give and obviously the calculation will happen at the sub category level so let's go down 
window average is basically the overall average for this particular right so i for example if you see here this is the profit average this is the sales average so if you are above the sales average and above the profit average you are doing good right so here more than window average and more than sales more than and uh, profit more than so this is good so this is high profit and high sales high sales and high profit because both are above the average above the window average next is when you are above the window average of sales but below the profit so here high sales and low profit same goes here as well you are less than the sales and more than the profit so low sales and high profit and finally the last where both are less both are lesser than the average so low sales and low average and click ok I'll drag this quadrant in the color and you can see that we are getting four colors. Blue color is high sales and high profit which makes sense. Orange color is high sales and low profit that makes sense as well. Red one is low sales and high profit so that is looking good. And finally the greenish shade low sales and low average so that is also looking fine. I'll go ahead and edit colors. I'll assign the palette to all the values if you can change your colors as well so click ok now the next thing which I have to do is I have to create a parameter and I'll give all these four options to be chosen as an uh, end user so I'll select here let's say quadrant parameter so four values which I'll pass high sales and high profit high sales and low profit low sales and high profit low sales and low profit here I have written average I just have to change that so I'll do that and finally I'll write all as well when I want to choose all the values so first of all I go back to the quadrant and edit this it's low sales and low profit and this is the parameter which we have right, so we have four options coming in now I'll create a calculated field which I will tag with this parameter so let's say quadrant logic so here I'll say quadrant parameter is equal to quadrant which is this create we already created this field so I'm passing that so quadrant parameter is equal to quadrant or quadrant parameter is equal to all and I click OK that is the true and false when I drag this in the filter you will get a true as an option because the condition is like that quadrant parameter is equal to the quadrant the logic which we have created or the quadrant equal quadrant parameter equal to all right so it's gonna give me true so let's select that and click OK and now when I choose you can see when I'm selecting high sales and profit that is coming in high sales and low profit low sales and high profit and low sales and low profit so all are coming nicely but I don't want to use this parameter I want to go ahead and I want to use the parameter actions so I'll click on the worksheet actions I'll go to my parameter actions sheet one is what we are applying so as of now we are applying the actions on the worksheet itself we can go ahead and we can do it in dashboard as well I'll choose the parameter which we have and I'll choose the logic which is the quadrant logic and when I am clearing the selection I want to set the value as all because I want to show all the dots I'll give the name quadrant 
action and click OK. And now when I click, you can see that it is basically doing the same. When I press escape, it's selecting all the values. When I'm selecting that dot, you can see that particular quadrant is getting highlighted. One thing you can see here is that when I'm selecting any dot, only that dot is getting highlighted. The other one is not. So in that case, I have to apply again a trick. I'll create a calculated field where I'll say, let's say don't highlight. And I'll pass don't highlight here. Just a text. And I'll drag this in the detail shelf. And I go to the actions again. And I'll apply the highlight and select that particular field. It's again, uh, we are faking around with Tableau, trying to highlight all the values. Because as of now, don't highlight is in the details. So it's going to highlight all the points. There is no granularity as such. So all the records will come in. And now when I go and select this, you can see all the points are now coming as a dark blue. When I press escape, you can see this looking good. Now I'll add the annotation as well. So that will have a better understanding. This is high sales and high profit. I can go and format this, make it transparent. So when I zoom in, you can see it's gonna give me that particular section as well. That it will highlight. So when I click on it, I will understand that these points are high sales and high profit points. Same goes here as well. It's a high profit, but low sales. So low sales and high profit. Again, I'll format. So when I click, I'll able to understand that this particular points which we have selected is low sales and high profit. Same goes here, low sales and low profit. I'll align the text and format if i choose a point you can see that it's again getting highlighted and same way high sales and low profit format and you can see it's coming in so when i click on this low sales low profit is coming in because that area is getting selected so this i have to put it a bit down Right, so basically this is coming in because it's very much near to each other. That's the reason it's getting overlapped. When I click on this, you can see that it's also coming. the low sales and low profit is also coming in because it's in the almost very much near to each other. Right, but that is also coming in. If you don't want this, you can realign this to the bottom so that we'll try to not see this particular label. And now when you click, you can see it's going down further. So that adjustment we have to make so that this point will not come in. As of now, the data is like that. That's the reason you are getting all the, both the labels. But if you pull it down or you can change the axis, maybe. You can edit the axis and you can go to the tick mark or you can apply the fixed here. It's from, it's a profit axis. I want to make it a sales. So edit axis. And here I'll choose the value. So let's say I'll take some bigger value. 
bigger negative value because it's zero right it's zero so i want to put it some bigger value let's say negative fifty thousand let's say i'm trying to increase this range you can see let's say 75 will put and i'll put this point a bit down for now when i click you can see still is coming in but we have to adjust that particular axis so that this will not come in i will increase this i'll put it up all those things we can do i'll put this up i'll put this bit down this adjustment we have to do but again that is very much possible based on the selection we can choose that but that is the idea you can create the scatter plot with the zoomable option where you can click on any of the dots it will highlight that particular uh, section of that quadrant in a in that particular dashboard right in, in, in that particular chart so i hope this makes sense so we'll see you in the next video till then Take care.